Okay, you're a little late here, bud. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and we're fighting Esperova because he's a jerk, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a tournament. It's all for fun, right? You know, it's... We're all having a good time here, you know? Uh, so we got movement, we got attack, so we probably ought to have defense as well. Karibo? Or are you better? You're better for defense, actually. Slightly. Okay, okay. I'll take it. Cool. And that puts us ooh, in an interesting position. Mm -hmm. Fairly certain we can get at least two sides on the Die Master here. Yeah. Still no summons, eh? It's rough, bud. I'm sorry about that. Except not really, because you're my opponent, so. Get wrecked, scrub. Uh, Alright, so. Actually, Mystical Elf could still be useful here. So. Mystical Elf. Uh, Three Legged Zombie and Karibo, I think is what I want. And we've learned in previous duels that. Having Mystical Elf being the one to attack is actually kind of good. <laughs> because it's hard for them to kill her. So... No, not like that. Not like that. Something like this, perhaps. Or this? That's probably better, actually. Yeah. Let's do that. Put us right at the Die Master and we can just attack. Left side's completely blocked off. Okay, okay. And it'll be pretty easy for us to block off the right side too. Even with this summon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well. Yeah, I mean, Jinzo doesn't have enough attack to actually kill her, so I guess that makes sense. Uh. So we need attacks. You two are the best for that. And then you also have it, but you're actually better because you also have defense. Okay, there's an, an attack, which is good. It's good. So, uh, we can do that. That'll leave room though. We don't want to leave room. This. However, it does also leave room. because there's only three there. Yeah, 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 we got it. We got it. Blocked off on both sides. With one monster on the field. How unfortunate. All I need is attack. So honestly, I'm just gonna do this. Uh... Okay, got the one attack I needed. Dunzo. Easy peasy. Fiend's Mirror is bad. I'd rather you hadn't given me that shot. A mysterious figure who claims to be an apostle of Anubis. With two Millennium items in possession, his power is also a mystery. Let the dark game begin. It is judgment under the guise of a game. What fate awaits on losing the game? I don't know. Alright. 
Uh, 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 let's do you, and you, and not you, but you. There we go. Alright. Wow. Go. Boah. Lovely internet classic, if you remember that one. <laughs> enjoy it. Oh, come on. A level 3 on turn 1. And Millennium Shield, no less. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Now are we gonna get around Millennium Shield? <laughs> By sneezing on it, apparently. Oh god. Glove works here. Uh, she's a nurse practitioner here at this hospital. See, she's healing people. Makes sense. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, now you're rolling level four is okay. All right, uh, quality over quantity, I suppose, with Shoddy. Um, Boop. And then... Wait, don't I... No. No, I don't have another one. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't actually have a... Actually, Rabbit Horseman could kill it eventually. But for now... Uh... For now... Movement, I guess? And... Someone we actually want to summon. Okay. Let's go for another time machine. Ugh. Hopefully we've put this in a position where we can get around the shield here. And summon here. Hold on, see there's one, two... Yeah, we need a lightning piece, so we need something there. Okay. Got it. We can probably make that work. Very few summons for Shoddy. Okay. Um. So now it's just stuff to fight with, right? That's that's what we want. Maybe some movement. Um. Well, if it's just stuff to fight with, then these two and then penguin soldier for movement all right cool uh, that's about everything we wanted so um i want this would work in fact i think this is probably our only option to get what we want out of this so let's do that Could move and attack the shield, but that wouldn't accomplish anything. Actually, it would kill Battle Warrior, <laughs> so. Unless he doesn't have any guards, which he might not. No, he's got one, which is all that he needs. Okay, well, this just got a lot harder. Alright. Gonna have to get a little more creative about this. Uh, okay, so you. And you, and we need attack and defense, so Karibo you. Alright, first I'm gonna block him off on the right side. And that's the idea. Just to secure dominance. Alright. Something like that, I suppose. Like this. We'll do it that way. Okay, right side's blocked off. 
And now, on the left side, uh, I think I want to work on blocking that off too, but we do have something we need to get out here. Because, as mentioned before, we have a monster that will eventually be able to take down Millennium Shield, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna take some doing. Uh, so you, and I guess you, and then Karibo. Alright, uh, no summons, which is unfortunate, but... We'll get there. Oh, a level four, okay. Level four item. that summon we can actually block him off with one more. We did not quite plan that one right. I don't think. Alright, so let's go three-legged zombie. Alright. And then we do this. Yeah, he's totally blocked off if I do this. So, good, good. We'll do this. Okay, no more summons for him, which means the only way you can win is by getting Millennium Shield past everything I have when it has zero damage, so, uh, we at least won't lose, but this could be a stalemate still. So, this is gonna get interesting. Okay, so, Rabbit Horseman, we need you. What was your effect again? Oh, right, he raises his own attack. Okay, yeah. So we need you, and we need as much attack as possible. So let's go for... Uh, you have two attack on you, okay. You have two different attacks, so that's basically the same. Okay. You also have two attack on you. Okay. We'll eventually get our horsemen onto the field, and then we'll be able to start moving. Mm -mm. But we will need a lot of attack to take this thing down. Okay, okay. Uh, actually... How much movement? I have seven movement. If I can get him to waste his guard. Let's work on this plan for now. He'll guard, and then... Battlemaster dies here, but if we can get enough movement to get someone else to him before he gets another guard, then we can kill it. I think my closest, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 8 movement is what we need now, before he gets one guard, which not entirely likely, I don't think, but not impossible. Okay, he didn't get any guards there, so that's pretty great. I guess we already have four movements, so we only need four more. Okay, more attacks. That's good. Come on, come on. Roll in. Okay. No movement or horsemen. Uh -huh. Keep rolling till we get what we need. Oh, okay. There's our horseman. So this is gonna be the best way to get horsemen close. I think probably. I mean, that could work, but I think better is. 
this option. Yeah, that puts them in the same spot, but leaves us more room to summon if we need to, which I don't suspect we will, but, you know. The other thing is I also needed to get that Battle Warrior out of the way because he was kind of blocking this spot, so... Okie dokie. Alright, alright. I'm glad I'm glad we have the one tank buster in our dice pool. That is pretty nice to have. Oh wait, I need movement. What am I doing? Uh, movement is what I need most right now. Oh gee. Oh, I got a guard back. Won't really matter at this point, but... Let's go movement. Yeah. Okay, we got a summon instead. That's fine. Uh, we'll just put it right here. Attacks that we could easily take down the shield. Okay, three. I need one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? One, two, three, yeah, six. Three more. Waiting for the end to come. Okay, one more. Could take anywhere from uh, next turn to next century. So, that's pretty great. Uh, well, never mind, we got it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Attack, added effect. We give ourselves 50, and we get a boost from Beast being good against Warrior. So, there's no way you can guard it. There we go. That was its only monster out, so. Easy peasy. Next turn, we attack. that we still have enough attacks to finish this out, so. Uh, but just in case. There we go. Nice. Alright. No added effect. Not necessary. Die Master does not care how much attack you have. Pathetic die, Shoddy. His dice pool does have pathetic die. <laughs> and he does not have the unstoppable Exodia, who is also not unstoppable unless you have all five pieces. Okie dokie. Curse of Dragon. Level 3, Flying 2020. Good crest. Hmm, I don't necessarily like flying monsters, but I will take it. As well as 50 feet, that 550 gold. And we're gonna sell some dice at Grandpa's shop. Okay, what can we sell here? Uh, we don't need two beaver warriors. We hardly even need one. Um, and then we can 
sell a time machine too, because two is all we'll ever need, I think. Having three would be a little ridiculous, actually. Okay, Wing Dragon number one. Does look like there's a couple of new things in here. Battle Steer for a level two, not bad. Flame Swordsman, also not bad for a level two, but again, we don't really run level twos. Battle Ox, also level two. Uh, wait, we don't have 3k, do we? Nope, almost though. If we, if we pick up this one, we could throw together an old warrior team. Larva Moth. 2020, 20. Uh, okay. That's actually pretty good for a level one. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna pick this up. Maybe see what its crests are. If its crests are decent, then I could see actually using it. Um, do you have a special effect? There's one heart from enemy and self. You only have one heart, so you kill yourself to kill a hurt an enemy. Okay. Uh, got it. Um, hmm. Do we have anything else interesting in here? Nope. Okay. Just this one then. Let's see what sort of crest this has. Honestly, there's only one combination of crests I can think of that would be bad or like worse than what I'm... Okay, that's actually pretty darn good. Um, yeah, let's swap out Dancing Elf for you. Because Dancing Elf's crests aren't fantastic. It's attack, which is fine, and then spell, I think, which is not good at all. We don't use spell at all in this deck. Dice pool. So, Larva Moth. Uh, is there anyone else that Larva Moth could replace? I mean, honestly, Mystical Elf, probably? Because Larva Moth has the tankiness of Mystical Elf. And isn't, uh, dead, but also has more attack and better crests. So, actually, maybe we do drop Mystical Elf for. Another Larva Moth. I think that's what we're gonna do. Light Ice. Wait, I should check if Larva Moth has an effect, like a detrimental effect before I do that. Because, okay, nope. It's just good. <laughs> Got it. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, we could probably replace the zombie too, right? Yeah, we have enough attack. Yeah, let's do that. We'll buy two more Larva Moss. Uh, give me two. I'll be the only monster that I have three of in my dice pool. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of you and you for two more of you. Yeah, I like the look of that. Beautiful. Alright. Um, uh, Penguin Soldier is still in here for the movement crests. And then... I think we'll still be fine on attack, because Karibo gives a ton. These guys give some when they're summoned. So, I think that's great. And then all of our level 3s have attack on them as well, so... Let's do it! But, if we truly are going to do it... We're going to do it next time, because uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap.
wonder if there's another set of turnaround.